I honestly don't know how possible this is. It could be completely impossible, but... Five fifty-eight a.m. Still pitch black outside. Just getting loads of broken sleep and the clean as a Hoover and ugh. Still not had a few hours. Just consistent. And it's getting light outside now as well. Brilliant. Morning. The time is nine twenty-eight a.m. We've had another sleepless night. Honestly, it's just like moving around all night. Obviously, I was downstairs at the start and moved that couch over there. Now I'm on this couch over here. I've not slept at all, just like half an hour here, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, so it's not great. But the good news is it is the last day today, so I am gonna sleep on that flight and have a good night's sleep tonight. So plan now. I think they've got some sort of breakfast going on over there. I don't know how fancy it is. Maybe just go a hot drink and a piece of toast. I'll grab that and then we'll see where we go from there. So as I was sitting here having a coffee and a piece of toast, the girl came over who works here and gave me sandwiches in a pack and said she's throwing them out and did I want them? That's lunch sorted. Fair play to her. Thank you very much. Thanks for the sandwich too. Appreciate it. Cheers. You too. Bye. I've just come out the hotel and there's like a car boot sale happening in the street. Shame I haven't got any stuff on me so I could sell it to be honest. It's actually pretty big as well. It goes, starts all the way down there and then it goes all the way down there. What I want to do now is the big needle building that's been in every one of my videos, which is that big thing in the back, you can't really see because of the mist. I honestly don't know how possible this is. It could be completely impossible, but I want to try and get to the top. I remember Azar and Mick yesterday were relating to it as the TV tower so I'm guessing it's some sort of signal up there but they also did mention that there was some sort of like five-star luxury restaurant up there that's got like months and months of waiting lists I don't know but we're definitely giving this a go right so I'm just arriving here now and the more I'm thinking about this there's obviously only gonna be one way up because it's that thin to the top so I'm just gonna have to suss it out I'm gonna start off by taking my hat off just in case I've got to pretend I'm a guest for the five-star luxury restaurant we're gonna start off by trying the museum, see if you can get in through here. Right, so it does look like the entrance is through here, but I ain't got a clue what I'm walking into. I'm just following the arrows for the entrance. I'm literally directly underneath it. But as you can see, the place is absolutely dead. Ah, so this is the entrance down here. In fact, that isn't even the entrance, that's just the ticket line. Right, so this is the official entrance in the back, and then the ticket queue is there. Look how big the ticket queue is. Right, so this is the first guy on security here. Let's see if we can get past this one. Do you want to buy a ticket? Yeah. Please open his jacket at his first and show me Okay. Inside, right side. Hi, how are you? Do you need to? All good? Thank you very much. Right, one guard down, about a million to go. If you buy the tickets now, your waiting time will be 40 minutes. After so the guy just said if you buy a ticket now, the wait is going to be 40 minutes. The ticket line's down there. I don't know where I'm going here. It's not a bad idea, that. <laughs> Oh. Right, so I've passed two checkpoints. One I checked outside, the second one I passed was under that rail in there. And then the third one, there's a security guard right over there. And then even if I get past him, you know, is there a fourth, is there a fifth? This is going to be hard. Getting past this next one is going to be the hardest. He's literally got an earpiece in and he's checking tickets thoroughly. This guy is no joke. If you buy the tickets now, your waiting time will be one hour and ten minutes. If you buy the tickets now, one hour and ten minutes? What if you haven't got a ticket? 
This is all about timing and picking the right time. And even if I pick the right time, it's still going to be hard. Right, so I'm just trying to blend in with a busy crowd here. <laughs> so far, so good. I just hope they don't check your ticket up there. Hi, right, how are you? Open, please. Yeah. Oh, open. open. Just got the camera. It's okay. All good. So the microphone needs to come off as well. Oh, okay. Is the microphone going with the thing under the same number? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. In your hand, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. So after a hundred checkpoints later, they've took the mic off the top of the camera. They took my tripod too, but we are finally at the top, and this view is ridiculous. I really, really hope these shots do it justice. Thank you very much. I'll be the same. Thank you. Bye. I cannot actually believe we've just done that. Look at it. That last turn style thing I went under just before I went in the lift to get to the top. I've legitimately burned my knees. I've got carpet burn on my knees. Have a look. Look at the state of that carpet burn. Absolutely amazing experience up there though and seeing the whole of Berlin. It's such a beautiful city. Security though. Security was tight on that, honestly. That wasn't easy. It's all about picking the right moment patience every time and that's not just with sneaking in that's with everything because I am the most impatient person in the world excuse me guy I've got some cheese sandwiches if you want it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no worries have a good one mate I thought I'd give him the cheese sandwiches the lady in the hostel gave me earlier. It's the last day of the challenge. I'll be flying back home tonight to a warm bed. He isn't. Plus, I need to lose some weight anyway, so win-win. I've just had a text off Azar saying that he's heading into the city. He's going to the gym. And he was just wondering if I was still about. So I've texted him back and said, I've still got a few hours. So I'm going to go to the gym with him. I'm going to try and sneak in and go for a shower before I get this flight. Oh, I hope his gym's got a towel. Hey, how are you, mate? What's up, mate? How's it going? So the gym's in Alexa. Yeah. Sweet. How long have you had a membership here? One year now. Training hard, mate. Exactly. Oh yeah, do they have towels here? Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Mick should have come for a training session. Got Mick on the dumbbells. Mick, we're missing you, mate. You should be coming for a session. He is actually busy today, though. Yeah. He messaged. So the gym's in the shopping centre. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, some shopping centre. There's three floors. Mate, in the UK, there are only two floors here. There's one, two, and three. Right, so we're at the gym now. Super fit. Is this a busy gym? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to film in here then. I'm not sure. <laughs> a changing room full of blokes that I'm filming. I want to film with you. It's what, sorry? No, no, no. Yeah. Cool. Thank Thanks very much, man. Cheers, thanks very much mate. Oh god, that workout works so hard there. <laughs> How many miles did I run on the treadmill? A thousand. Ten. Yeah, it was loads. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure again mate. Finally managed to get you on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one you and too. I'll see you later. Right. Mate, if you ever think about sneaking up there, give it a go. Look after yourself. See you later mate. Oh, 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 my feet are killing. I know it's only been three short days, but trust me, it feels a lot longer when you're not sleeping properly. And having to walk everywhere. 
But more importantly, it's been another amazing experience. We've met some amazing people and it's been another success, so I'm happy. So Berlin, where do I start? It's definitely exceeded my expectations. It's a beautiful city with a lot of history. It's clean, the people are nice. There's a big mix of people here from speaking to the lads last night and various other people. The city's very livable and affordable, so it's a good all-rounder. I 110% recommend it to everyone. I'd be very surprised if someone said they came here and didn't like it, to be honest. If anybody watching has spent time in Berlin or come on holiday, definitely drop a comment below and let me know your experience, because I'm interested. I want to hear what everybody else has got to say about it. But that is challenge one down and a lot to go. Let me know where you think I should go next and the one after and the one after. I've got an idea where I'm going next, but I'm gonna keep it quiet. Everybody who's got me on Twitter and Instagram know I've been in Berlin because I've been posting like stories and stuff. So if you haven't got me on Twitter and Instagram, it's Simon J. Wiltz. And yeah, that'll probably give away where I'm going next. I just wanna say a massive thank you to everybody who's liked, commented and shared these videos throughout the challenge, showing their support. It really means a lot and I'm looking forward to doing more. So on that note, I will see you next week in another country on Tuesday because I'm putting another video out Monday and then the challenge Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll see you Monday. Have a good one.